This video is a quick look at dimensioning types. I've created a shape which you can see in the general view which I've added to the sheet which is the A3 sheet from the PTC group of templates. When you're creating the drawing you get the option to do that by browsing. Uh, I've added also a uh, projection view by just left clicking on an existing view, right clicking and inserting a projection view and moving that view across. So that's now done. I'm going to add some annotations quickest way to do this is to auto alternate dimension. I select all the parts that I want to alternate dimension and OK in the selection box. I then need to say where I'm going to auto alternate dimension from, which is this edge. It will do that for me. I can then do that in the opposite direction as well by just selecting a new baseline when I finish the dimensioning, I click Done. If I want to move a dimension, this radius is rather a long way out, I can move that round to where I want that to be. And delete the, opposite, the other existing option. OK, so I've got my ordinate dimensions there. If I do, I can, there's another way which is to do them yourself. So I zoom in on this view so we can see what we're doing more clearly. I want to work from this edge. I want to go along that edge. I quite simply just pick an edge with the left click, centre wheel to position the dimension. And if I want to show this gap in the middle there, which could I just OK that, go back to standard dimension and add that dimension from there to there. Again centre click. Happy with that. Fit the drawing, zoom in on the other option, go back to the standard dimensions, press shift and the centre wheel just to move this across so we can see what I'm doing. OK I'm going to do the dimension from this end to this end, centre wheel click, this face or edge to that edge, centre click, from this edge we'll say to that edge, centre click and up the top here, the space again, centre click there, and also right from there to there, put all the dimensions in. That's, that's the beginning of the dimensions. OK, I'm happy with that. Look very messy down the bottom here. So what I can do is click outside, click the dimensions which really need sorting out. Right click, I can clean up those dimensions. Just tell it to do that for me. The increment, that's the vertical spacing between the dimension lines change that from 5 to 7, that should fit this drawing more effectively. So apply that, we can now see we've got the smallest dimension, then the next, then the next. So we're happy with that, maximise it, and we look at the different sorts. The automatic auto, uh, ordinate dimensioning has obviously done it in very great detail. Just picked out the details I want with the ordinate dimensioning in this view, and then the last view, again, that has been done doing standard dimensions, picking out the parts you want. The secret, really, is not to over-dimension your drawing and just to give the dimensions that are required. An automatic option is often, obviously, as you'd expect, the quickest, but it needn't necessarily be the tidiest way of doing it. You don't normally put a dimension in more than one view. So if you've got uh, the height in a view, you don't need the height in another view. That concludes this look at standard and ordinate dimension.